Hi, so here we are going to learn one very different or you can say alternate method of finding squares of a given number. So suppose if you want to find the square of a two digit number, suppose 72, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a square and after this I'll partition it like this in such a way that we have two rows and two columns. Why two rows and two columns? Because this 72 has two digits and then I'll write 7 over here and 2 over here 72 and 7 in the first row and 2 in the second row right and after this what I'll do is I'll draw these diagonals diagonals of the smaller squares right so if I draw it neatly it will look something like this here we have 7 and here we have 2, here we have 7 and then here we have 2. 72 is the number for which we are trying to find the square, right? And now what are we going to do? We are going to multiply this first row with all the columns. So when 7 gets multiplied by the first column, 7 7s are 49, right? And 49 has 2 digits. So Number at tens place, that is 4, I'll write over here. And number at units place, I'll write below the diagonal. Right? And then we have 7 to the 14. 14 has 4 at units place and 1 at tens place. So number at tens place, I'm writing above the diagonal. And number at units place, I'm writing below the diagonal. And similar thing, I'll do with the second row also. In second row we have 2. When 2 gets multiplied by 7 I get 14. 14 has 1 at tens place and 4 at units place and 2 to the 4. 4 has only one digit so it has 0 at tens place and 4 at units place. Right? And now what I'm going to do? I'm going to start adding these numbers from this point from this point and I will go in this direction so when I go in this direction and I talk about only the diagonals the numbers below this diagonal is only 4 so this 4 will make the units place of the square and when I go little further I come here I come to a place which is between these two diagonals and if I add all the numbers of this space we will get the digit for our tens place. So 4 plus 0 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, so 8 is the number at tens place, right? And then I go to another section which is this. In this section we have three numbers, there are two ones and one nine. 9 plus 1 is 10 and 10 plus 1 is 11. So out of this 11, I will note down only the units place of 11, that is 1 over here, which will give us the 100th place number of the square. And the 1 which is in the 10th place of 11 will be carried forward to this section. So 4 plus 1 is 5, which will be the number at thousands place of the square of 72 right and now let's check our result using calculator and here we want to find the square of 72 so it's 72 multiplied by 72 gives us 5184 and this is what we have got over here so this was finding the square of a number when the number has only two digits so let's take one example where we will find the square of a three digit number right so let me erase this so suppose if we want to find the square of 328, it is a three digit number. So I'll draw a square grid of three columns and three rows and the grid will look something like this. And what I have to do? Yes, I have to write 328 like this. Eight is in the units place of this number. So it will come on the rightmost column. 2 will come in the middle column and 3 will come in the leftmost column and similarly I'll write 328 here also in rows where 3 will come in the topmost row 
and 2 will be in the second row and 8 will come in the third row and again I'll follow the same procedure what I'll do yes I'll multiply all the digits first I'll multiply 3 with all the columns of the grid so 3 3's are 9 9 has 9 ones and 0 tens 3 2's are 6 6 ones and 0 tens 3 8's are 24 so 2 will come here 4 will come over here then we have 2 3's are 6 so 0 over the diagonal and 6 below the diagonal 2 2's are 4 so 4 below the diagonal and 0 above the diagonal because it has only one digit then 2 8's are 16 16 has 1 at tens place so it will come above the diagonal and 6 will come below the diagonal right then 8 3's are 24 so 2 will come above the diagonal and 4 will come below the diagonal 8 2's are 16 so 1 above the diagonal 6 below the diagonal and 8 8's are 64 so 6 above the diagonal and 4 below the diagonal right and what we do after this yes we go in this direction we start from this point and then we go in this direction and why do we start from this point because this is the place which holds the product of 8 and 8 and these are the two numbers which will give us the units place number in the square right so that's why we start from there and how we go yes we take care of the areas enclosed between two diagonals right so first we'll see this area this is the area below the first diagonal and this will come as it is at units place so the number at units place of the square will be 4 right and after that we will take the areas enclosed between these two diagonals and what do we have here here we have three sixes we have to add all these three six and six plus six is twelve twelve plus six is eighteen so eight I'll note down over here and one will be carried forward right and then what we do yes we will take care of the area enclosed between these two diagonals next two diagonals right four plus one five plus 4 9 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 4 14 and 14 plus 1 is 15 so I have got 15 I'll note down only 5 over here and 1 will be carried forward to the next area and in next area I have 2 plus 6 8 8 plus 0 8 8 plus 6 14 14 plus 2 is 16 and plus 1 is 17 right so next digit will be 7 and again we have 1 as carry forward and then if I take care of the area enclosed between next two diagonals this will be the area and here we have two zeros and one nine and then we had this one carried forward from the last area so 9 plus 1 is 10 so I have to note this 0 over here and 1 will be carried forward and 1 plus 0 is 1 right so this is the square of 328 and let's check our result using calculator 328 multiplied by 328 gives us yes 107,584 which is exactly the result which we had got using this method so isn't it fun using this method and what is the logic behind this method think about it it is using the formula of a plus b whole square the square of 72 which was 72 multiplied by 72 or it can be written as 70 plus 2 whole square which is nothing but 70 square plus 2 multiplied by 70 multiplied by 2 plus 2 square right this is what comes in the middle areas think about it you will find the logic behind this procedure and in this place it is using the formula of a plus b plus c whole square derive it on your own believe me it is going to be a fun activity for you